Hello, hello. I am back with another video. And the purpose of this video is going to be talking about practicing on your reflections, practicing for empire state of mind, practicing on maybe a healthy relationship or maybe a healthy marriage that you want to get in. Just practicing using the people in your physical reality. I did a similar video like this here, and I, I think the title of it is Use Him, He Needs It. I talked about using people in your physical reality for your greater good of evolving to your higher self. But in this particular video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail and give a little bit more examples for a healthy relationship and how you being we, when we are single, I, I don't like using that word you, it's kind of like too harsh, too aggressive. Like, like I'm attacking people and I'm not. I'm coming from a place of love. So we, <laughs> we, when we're single, we can practice on, you know, our character, becoming a better person for that ultimate relationship or whatever we desire in the physical reality. So we have to have an empire state of mind. We have to master our emotions and all in our character, our inner being first. So the first thing I want to say is, when, when, when practicing, let's not take the advice of bitter women. Let's remember not to accept advice from bitter women. And you know she's bitter because she got played. That's why she bitter. <laughs> so you could tell the bitter ones, you know, because they got played, now they're bitter, and now every man is garbage. Now every man is maybe no good. You know, we have different frequencies of men out here in the physical reality. All men aren't stingy. All men aren't cheaters. All men ain't trying to play the game. You know, all men not trying to find the um, um, the woman that's gonna help him build. You know, build. You know, they have men that are already maybe at their level of success, already content in their in their lifestyle, and they're just looking for somebody that compliments them or bring value to them, and somebody that they want to create a healthy relationship with. Anyway. This is so important that we um, do this particular work because there are some people in the physical reality that I, I, I call them one of them. When I say one of them, I'm talking about one of those people that are still kind of like playing the game and they get caught in the game and they get played. And you know, it's almost like, you know, I used to work at a casino. It's almost like people that go in and get, get gamble. They go in to gamble and then they lose. They lose so much. But they decide, I'm not going home until I get my money back. And them staying, playing the game longer and, or, or more constant, they lose way more. They never come back out, you know, because house wins in, in that type of environment most often than not. And so playing the game most often than not, there's a great possibility that you get played too. But it's almost like, I, I got I to gotta get my ego back. You know, that person took my, my self-esteem back and I got to get them. And if I can't get them, I got to get somebody else so I can get my ego or my self-esteem or my confidence back so I can say nah, you know, to the next person. So <laughs> it's really important that you understand yourself so you don't get caught up in the process of playing games all your life and realize that by the end of your days, now you have got played. This is why we have people that are maybe... 60 70 years old and they're like oh oh now i got it i've been a player all these years now i got it now i want to do it do it right you know like really but we have late bloomers in the physical reality um there's this guy there's this guy robert green who writes about the laws of um power and i really think that that is really important not just in relationships but even in um your career you know both business and professional mindsets with that type of thinking that'll really give you a great idea of game playing a lot of his books and stuff talk about psychology and you know the animalistic side in people to explore it and it often it, it also ties together with what i'm trying to share on my channel the shadow side of you embracing your shadow self because <laughs> it'll allow you to deal with those issues that you have, granted you dealing with it by using your reflections, but it's for the greater good of the all for you to evolve to your higher self. 
You got to get to a point in your journey where you have to deal with yourself some kind of way. The only, <laughs> I don't want to say negative, the only downside maybe to that uh, thought process to me when I study and read about Robert Greene is the fact that he writes some of his books and, and things out of anger, you know, and kind of like identifying that everybody has an animalistic side of them that they need to explore for the greater good of them and greater good of other people. But I kind of disagree with that in a sense because not everybody have that animalistic side. Some people come in the physical reality, they come forth in their God state of being. Just like, you know, some people come forth with Anunnaki type blood, you know, bloodline, the old blood type, and some have that tainted blood, you know, that's more maybe animalistic in behavior in the physical reality. So these different types of people. So everybody don't have no animalistic side. They have some good hearted people in the physical reality that just just good, purely good, more closer to the God frequency than those that are more animalistic, low frequency, tainted blood, animalistic behavior, you know, no soul type essence inside them, you know? Because we have God frequency at every level. God is it's gonna be the highest level and it's gonna be that flat line. All is God. So anyway, these bullet points that I have written down will help you to let your shadow self come out to play in an effort for you to evolve to your higher self. And it'll also help you long term down the line <laughs> with staying power in relationships. If you give ear to them, if you put not only an ear to them, but a little bit of action to them as well. So, we first need an empire state of mind. Empire state of mind before I even go into these bullet points of practicing. You have to have an empire state of mind and an open mind to receive that which I'm about to share with you. Okay, so the first thing that I have on my... Um, my babe of a, a bullet point is loving someone who doesn't deserve it. That is a perfect thing in when you are single to love someone who doesn't deserve it. Now I'm not saying who you feel don't deserve it. Now I'm not saying do this forever. You know, give yourself maybe two weeks, maybe a month of picking one person that you're gonna love that you might think don't deserve it but really on God frequency everybody is entitled to love you know God in the biblical text says I reign on the just as well as the unjust so but the reason why I'm saying that this is something that we or yeah we <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead with the we <laughs> should practice is because sometimes in the physical reality we become so focused on us and our needs but when you get in a relationship, a healthy relationship, it's not going to be just about your needs anymore. You're going to have to worry about the meet the needs of your partner too. And it's going to be probably a point in your, in your relationship where you feel as though the partner doesn't deserve something because he didn't give the that something to you. Maybe he got sick and now you have to be a caregiver for him. But when you were sick, he didn't. But see, this is why I'm saying it's so perfect for you to practice on somebody in your right now physical reality and love them even in your even in your mind saying to you, even when your mind is saying to you that that person doesn't deserve it. Even when your mind is giving you flashbacks of the moment when you were sick and you didn't get that type of attention. Love them anyway, because this is going to prepare you for a healthy relationship. If you choose not to do this while you're single, when that moment comes, you won't know what that thought feels like. You won't know why you're getting the image of that. You're going to probably think, well, maybe he's, he's not the one. You know, Those, that'll begin to be your doubting factor. That'll be, that'll be your doubting factor to make you probably want to abort the relationship over something as simple <laughs> as you not knowing how to love somebody even when you sometimes feel he didn't deserve it. But if you would have practiced on somebody before you got married, you would know what that thought felt like. You would have, you would have went face to face with that particular fear or that particular doubt in your relationship. And you would have mastered it. 
The next thing, I'm paying attention to the time because I have someone to go in 10 minutes. The next thing is stroking ego. Stroking someone's ego in the physical reality. And I'm saying that because you need to see the response. You need to see how receptive men are. Men have big egos, really big egos. And you have to be cautious with them because you have the power through what you say to him to destroy his ego. Or you could build it up. That choice is yours. But pay attention to when you tell him how, how much you need him, how much you appreciate him. And then pay attention when you, when you don't. You know, maybe you could pick two people for that. You could pick a person that you don't never stroke his ego and be like, boy, you, you, you all right. And then ignore his ego. And you could pay attention to the fact that, that he wants you to, uh, to stroke it. And he wants to gain your validation, so to speak. You know, and then you pay attention to the other one and you're stroking it and you pay attention to the energy of the human nature of that you're stroking it. He think you got, he got you. He think you're not going nowhere. He think you, you know, going in the head or whatever. But pay attention to that energy. Pay attention to him wanting maybe to, to do more for you though. You know, based upon you, how you stroking his ego. Pay attention to him wanting to be a better man for you. You know, it depends upon the guy, how he'll accept it or not. This is why you have to use the people in your physical reality when you're doing this and paying attention to their behavior. This is not about you falling in love with anybody. This is not about you falling at all. This is about you growing. So keep your emotions in check. Don't, 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 don't play this game with somebody that you probably want to marry or whatever you see a future with. You can't have a future with everybody. Pick somebody that you don't see a future with, maybe, as your little duck, you know? Let him be your little duck. He will appreciate it, especially if you, you're stroking his ego. That's a beautiful thing to do. They got men out there that probably want to sign up for you just to stroke his ego because they love when you stroke their ego. Anyway, the next one on the list I have is not having sex or refraining from sex for an appointed time. You pick how long it's going to be. You know, um, <laughs> that's totally up to you. But I'm saying that because in a relationship, a healthy relationship, there might be a time when your husband is traveling where you can't have sex, you know. So you want to be able to refrain from it. And I feel like sex is really different for, for women. I feel as though, you know, we don't have that, 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 um, that, that crave, that desire, that, <laughs> that need for sex as much as men do. So they are women in the physical reality. They were like, no, 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 I gotta get mine, blah, blah, blah. But I believe that that is based upon them wanting validation more than anything. That they'll say that they're more prom promiscuous, whatever, prior to marriage, for example. And then when marriage come now, okay, the sex drive decreased, what happened? Well, she wanted the validation. The validation was that she wanted the guy to marry her. And so she acted like she was more promiscuous than what she was. But point blank, period, a balanced woman is not <laughs> driven for sex like men are and I understand that we have things in the physical reality that might make us more tempted to behave that way even like this new song out called the walk but let's be honest if we get those emotions in check um, there is no balance there to have a wop when you have a dry purse so <laughs> Let's be in balance with where we want to be in the physical reality. This is about building an empire, okay? Let's get a wet purse, okay? Let's 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 have mortgages that's paid for. Let's you know with our partner. Let's get some real estate going. Let's let's um pay off some some student loans and get all the children and through college and and have retirement planned out, mapped out, no financial debt at all, just some financial freedom. Okay, so when you have that, that's equivalent to having a wet purse. And so let I speak about balance with all things. Don't have a WAP without having a, a wet purse. And it goes together. Now you're on a different frequency and you, you, you really doing something nasa. But it brings you no, <laughs> it brings you no justice in the physical reality to walk around here like you're so promiscuous and you just have this just, just delicious WAP but that's it it's like come on now. what really no so practice not 
having sex, you know. Practice, you know, refrainment from it for, for an important time. I'm not saying you got to be holy to now, but you, you do want to present yourself as a prize, you know. It's a balance with all things. And that's only if you're trying to get married. If you're not trying to get married, I guess you, you could walk around with what and just let everybody get a little samples of your walk. I mean, I'm not here to judge. You do what you want to do with your walk. Anyway, pay attention to the character of people. And so you could use this here on maybe an ugly man, you know, not so good looking man in the physical reality, you know, hey, the relationship gonna get ugly. So you might as well get an ugly man for a little while to represent that the relationship because it might be pretty and then he getting in. Everybody relationship pretty in the beginning, but that thing gonna get ugly. So go on and get you somebody ugly, but pay attention to the character of them. Pay attention to the words and how he treats you, you know? And you know what? And then you probably one day in the physical reality be like, dang, he ugly, but dang, this dude, yeah. I really like him. Let me see if I can get him to fix some teeth and, and get a different kind of haircut or something. Well, I don't know, but do it. <laughs> it's practice. That relationship going to get ugly, so you need Mr. Ugly. You know, I was watching a video on YouTube. They had this man talking about polygamous relationships, and I was like, okay, let me hear what he got to say about this. He was talking about his wives and stuff. He was trying to build the empire, so to speak. And um, and his relationships, his well, his wives, you know, they all had a house, they all had a car, they did the homeschool. He really, really impressed me. He was nobody in the beginning of the video that I would look at, but by the end of the video, you know, because he was not too good to put on the eyes, you know, but by the end of the video, I sat there and I was like, wow, would you look at that? He has a real nice forehead. Oh, he don't have no pimples on it or nothing. And I was like, oh, could I be one of the wives? <laughs> you know? <laughs> now I'm telling you, you pay attention to a person's character and, in, in, you know, in their, their thinking and their behavior. And, and, and man, you, you forget all about the ugly. I'm telling you, you forget about the ugly. You could fix ugly, but Lord, you can't fix stingy. It's hard to well, it's hard to fix stingy. It's hard, it's hard to fix um, abusive men. Oh Lord, they've been through some things. Lord, it's 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 hard to fix um, the ones that just want to just cheat and, and just and don't want don't have no kind of empire. They got broke men out there that's just to cheat and just like you broke. Bro, and you still okay? All right, anyway. So, um, the next thing on my list is being attracted to his success and not his desires. You know, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look, being attracted to a man that is successful because you carry yourself yourself well and you look like success versus you looking like a little Gucci mama. Yeah, yeah, and versus you, you know. You know, showing everything, so to speak. And so I'm not saying, like, for example, stilettos, for example, you know. I'm not saying if you have some stilettos, throw them away. Just don't pull them out in the daytime, you know. You know, that's for, for later, like, you know. But in the physical reality, when you meet them and when you're interacting and getting to know them, let, let them see that success side that he'll be attracted to for oh, law later boy you got to surprise him later I'm like boy you don't know what i got in that closet okay anyway conflict resolution conflict resolution is like um being able to handle an issue that's you know that, that y'all disagreeing on you know so get you a friend where where you could um disagree and and and, and practice being vulnerable me like I feel like you're attacking me. Why are you talking to me like that? I just want you to be understood. You know, and just just practice. Practice these things. I'm telling you, this is the key to success. Men taught me this. Men taught me this. And I did it. And, and it has worked for me. It is still working for me. Because it helps me to become the woman who I am today. Anyway, it's going to help you as well with your inner strength, with your empire state of mind. Remember... Remember on the um, remember uh, on the gate on the movie, the movie the family that prays together. I'm getting a text. I gotta get out of here. The family that prays together, 
they the the Cartwright family. The Cartwright family, the mother, Mrs. Cartwright, said to her daughter-in-law, you know why I never liked you? Because you was a little weak little thing. You know, she wasn't representing the empire when, when the daughter-in-law found out she was getting cheated on when she went to the mama in the garden or whatever to cry. <laughs> she didn't have the empire state of mind, you know? And Miss Cartwright told her, look, you go up in there, you stand up to that mistress and you demand the things that you want. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be strong. I'm telling you, you gotta be strong and you have to have inner strength before you get in a marriage, before you get in a healthy relationship. Not that all this stuff gonna come to you, we're wishing that this don't come to you in the physical reality, reality, but if it comes, you need to be able to be prepared for it and ready. Okay? The game, um, being turned off by the game. You know, this is an example for somebody who has been in relationships where the guy cheated, you know, um, and she's constantly being cheated on. Just um, <laughs> become turned off by the game become turned off by like married men for example if this is a single woman you know with, with, with children or whatever men look for those type women to make them the little side pieces they think those are easy women because they're you know they see the different baby daddy i mean children that buy different baby daddies they're like okay let me get my shot you know <laughs> and so be turned off by men you know make make anger your best friend in that situation where they just they just make you angry if they try to come at you with game and try to get you on your back in order to get your your inner strength together knowing that this man is about to waste valuable time valuable time of yours talking about him and his wife sleeping in different beds or whatever the game is that he spilled on you don't fall for it Run from it. Let the universe know that that is something you are not accepting. And then the universe yields you new experiences because you're sitting him away. Let's see. Practice being somebody's feminine inspiration. Feminine inspiration inspiring somebody. You should not be the person that's killing his dreams. You should be the biggest cheerleader. Babe, I don't know how we made it to this point. I'm so happy you're here. Even if you're doing this to somebody at work that's maybe on your team or whatever, I don't know how you did it. Thank you for teaching me everything that I know. I wouldn't be able to meet that such and such. I wouldn't have been able to make that deal on that particular project without you. You taught me all that I know. I can come to you for wisdom. You know, you've been here for such and such years or whatever. Do this to somebody in your physical reality. Watch the response. Watch the response and you take that. You take that research that you're doing and you hold that and you store that for your later, for your relationship, for your healthy relationship. Say hello to your shadow self. Say hello to your shadow self and whatever type of fear your shadow self have, say hello fear. We're here to face it. If I didn't cover whatever your fear is on this particular list, you cover your fear with one of your reflections and you face that fear. To help you to become the better version of yourself. Get a pretty Ricky person. I talked about staying away from getting a pretty Ricky. But get a pretty Ricky that you know that maybe have a lot of options. And I want you to practice on him controlling your emotions with him. Knowing that he has a rotation. Knowing that he has a rotation. It's okay. You're not trying to be part of the rotation and get on your back. But you just want to entertain it. Maybe a conversation for maybe two weeks. Maybe just talking to him, just, just speaking your truth and avoiding and mentally of not paying attention to the distractions because you got to get headstrong. What if you get into a place where your husband gets this big promotion and now he is somebody really, really, really wealthy? What if you meet a fluent man who have women around him all the time? You have to be emotionally strong and prepared for that. You have to make sure that your look is where you are comfortable with. That you're stroking his ego and that you're his greatest cheerleader or you giving him the things that he need so that those other distractions would not distract you you know so you wouldn't turn into the thirsty chick the insecure chick because you could start off secure but things in the dynamic of a relationship can make you insecure so practice now <laughs> last thing practice keeping secrets from other women practice not sharing your all to other women when you, I don't know, 
when you meet somebody, you know how we have the girl talk or whatever, when you have sex and when you meet somebody and what he did and how many children he had and how much money he had and where he gave him his bag and he did that. Cut that out. How about making friends with your higher self? How about shh, being still and knowing that I am God? Cut it out. Your girlfriend don't know, need to know everything because let me tell you, I do consultation with women. 99.99999% of us, I'm going to say us, <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and say us, but 99.999% of us do not have real girlfriends, okay? So these are some things that you have to practice. I am hopeful that I didn't leave anything out. I'm looking at my notes for one last time. Okay, I didn't leave anything out. I didn't leave anything out. I gotta go, y'all. This video, like all my other videos, are from my heart to yours. I gotta get out of here. Be blessed, babe.